Hey dear my lovers, oh whisper bell Broughton here. I was just reminiscing over the time me and Billy Tittle went down to Ludlow Steam Fair. Christ almighty it was the maddest day in my life. We get about ten minutes past Titten, just by the cafe. Old Romany pal of mine, jumped out of the biggest tree you've ever seen in your life. Big old apple tree. Shouts to me, shouts, oh whisper, would you like to buy the bestest dog you've ever seen in your life? I said Christ almighty I would. I said, how much do you want for it? Two hundred pound, he said. I said, I can't pay that. No man would pay that. I said, I wants to see the dog before you bring it out. Right? He said to me, you can't see it. Who's going to buy a dog you can't see? Anyway, I took him on his word. I said, bring him out. I said, I'll have a listen to him. Next thing you know, looses this dog off over the field. I'd be back turned on it at the time, but I could hear it. I thought, Christ, that's a big dog. I could still hear it, field away. Two fields away, I could still hear it. And the third field, I thought, that's a good dog. I know it's a good dog when I hear one. He said to me, oh, Ralph, he said, you will never, ever get another dog like this. He said, you'll never sell it. True to his word, he was. Never did sell it. Turns out it was a cow. Christ almighty, worst day of my life, 200 pound down. Never mind, that was another story, right? Hey, Ripples. Remember the time I found a couple of silver pigeon berettas in the back of a Defender? Still got that in the yard, eh? Well, the man didn't want it, did he? He just left it, man. All open and everything. I'm looking after it for him, to be fair. That's another story, though. Come on, Ripples. Better take you for a walk, eh, girl? All the best to you, lovers. See you soon. Mr. Bell Come on, Ripples.